Hey Rachel, are you there? I was just curious whether or not you were on your way home yet or not. Are you working overtime tonight or something like that? What is taking you so long? Yeah, Tim, I'm really sorry about this. I was just about to walk out of the office when my boss called me into her office. Anyways, I've still got some work to do here, so don't bother waiting up for me when it comes to dinner or anything like that. Alright. I see. Well, okay. That's fine, I suppose. But is there even anything in the house that we could have for dinner? Yeah, I think there should be some stuff in the freezer that wouldn't be that hard to heat up and turn into a meal. It should be pretty easy. I think there's some chicken nuggets or something in there. Oh, right. I actually packed those for my lunch today, so they're all gone already. Oh, really? So there's no more left for you or Tina? Yeah, sorry. I was just really, really craving them all week, and then I finally broke and packed a bunch of them for my lunch. So can you think of anything else that we might be able to eat? Hmm, I do still think we have some leftovers from the other night in the fridge. They should be in the Tupperware. But I think I remember you telling me that you weren't a huge fan of that dish. Right. I wonder if there's anything else we could do for dinner tonight, then. Well, why don't the two of you just go out to eat or something like that? That could be fun. You mean you think just Tina and I should go out to eat dinner together? Yeah, why not? When was the last time that you two went out and did something together like that? I think Tina would really like it if her dad took her out to eat for dinner as a special treat. Hmm, I really don't know. If I can be honest, I don't really think that Tina even likes me all that much. I just don't know how well we would do trying to go out with just the two of us like that. What do you mean by that? Why do you think that your own daughter doesn't like you? Besides, the two of you are just going out, is that really so bad? I just really don't think that Tina is going to go along with that. I don't know what it is about her, but she has been getting into fights with me more and more over silliest things. Oh, I see. But you know, if I can be honest with you, I think you've been doing something similar with her now. But what I want to know is why she doesn't ever talk back to you. I mean, it's not like I'm trying to control every little aspect of her life. I'm just trying to warn her about the things that she should and shouldn't be doing, is all. I know, but I guess if you're going to be doing that, then you really just have to expect that your daughter is going to push back. Especially when you consider all that in the light of the fact that most of her life, you haven't really been home all that much. To her, you're basically just someone who's in the house in the morning and doesn't ever come back until late. And you certainly could be doing more to ask about her life while you're at home together with her. What are you talking about? Of course I can't do any of that. I mean, I thought she was just like me because we were family. You really don't know at all about how high school girls work, do you? She isn't just going to open up to someone that she sees as a stranger. You need to try and talk more with your daughter. Otherwise, she's never going to stop taking this cold attitude towards you. Do you understand? But it isn't fair. How can my own daughter dislike me so much? Oh man, you have any idea how sad that makes me? I mean, the reason I'm not at the house at all is because I'm out working for all of us. I realize that, but the fact of the matter is that you're going to have to try and close the distance that has grown between you and her, okay? I mean, you don't have to solve the problem all at once. It's okay to start with just a few words now and then to cut the tension. Then you can try and build up your relationship with each other from there until you're as close as you were when she was a little girl. But as things stand right now, I really don't think you're doing much to help your case. But I really do want things to go back to the way they were. That would make me happier than anything. With, I just want to have my daughter back. The one who loves me and who I know how to get along with. Well, I think that you're going about it the wrong way if that's really what you want. Especially with a girl her age, you really need to watch how you act around her. Because if you approach her too strongly, then it's going to drive her away from you as well. Y you can understand that, right? I know, but... 
Sometimes I just wonder what life would be like if we had a son instead. I think then I would really know how to get along with our kid. Well, I really just don't see the point in wasting time on thoughts like that when you have your own reality to worry about. You're right. But I just can't believe that as she's getting older, our daughter is coming to hate me. It feels like I'm being punished for something. Well, I really am sorry that you're feeling like this, Tim, but what about your brother? Doesn't he also have a daughter who's in high school? Maybe you two should try and plan something together where the four of you can all hang out. That way you two can use spending time with Tina's cousin as an excuse for you all to go out together. That's not a bad idea. Or rather, it wouldn't be if it weren't for that nasty personality our daughter has. At least my brother's daughter is a sweet and kind girl. Nothing like our Tina. Tim, you really shouldn't be talking about your own daughter like this. You know that, don't you? I mean, if you really want to get along with her, then you have to start giving her the benefit of the doubt. I get that, but... Look, all I'm saying is that I don't think the two of us are going to be able to eat out together. I guess not, huh? Well, then maybe in that case you should just have something delivered to the house. What about that? Hey, Tim, I was just wondering if you wouldn't mind if I went to go and spend some time at my parents' house? I would leave this weekend and probably spend about a month over there with them. I guess that's okay with me, but... What do you want to go and spend time over there for? Well, you know how my parents have their farming business, right? It's going to be harvest season, so I just want to be there to offer them a hand if they need it. After all, they've been doing this all their lives, but they are starting to get older. I know that my mom's knees and back just aren't what they used to be. And my dad... Well, you know all the things that have been happening with him. Basically, I'm pretty sure they're going to need my help. I see. Yeah, you might actually be right about that. It can't be easy running a farm at their age. Well, would you like to come along with me? It could be fun. Uh, I think I'd rather not. Thanks for the offer, though. After all, I have all these work I have to do. Not to mention that the fact last time I tried to help your parents on your farm, I had a terrible time. Yeah, I was worried that you were going to say something like that. But it really is fine if you don't go. I shouldn't be long. Well, what about Tina? Are you going to be taking her with you as well? Well, I did always used to take her to my parents when I went, didn't I? And she would always love getting to see her grandparents too. And it wasn't like they were ever upset to see their granddaughter or have the extra hands around the farm. But I also know that finals are coming up soon for her and that it would probably be better if she stayed home to study. So then you're saying you're gonna leave Tina and I home alone with each other for a week? Um, yes. So just make sure that the house doesn't burn down while I'm away, okay? Wait just a second. You can't do this to me. Come on, you know that this isn't gonna go well. But this is a chance for you two to get closer to one another, don't you think? Where? How so? In what world do you actually see that happening? Because I'm telling you that it is just not gonna work at all, okay? I know that this whole time is gonna be spent fighting with her over every little thing. I really think that you're being a bit overdramatic with all that, Tim. I'm sure things will be fine between the two of you. Prove me right, okay? You don't know what it's like when you're not around. I mean, she doesn't even let me get near her most of the time. Well, that's okay. It's important to give her her space. That's one way you can start to build up your relationship with her. And you two don't need to argue over every little thing, you know? There are ways to come to agreements with her. Besides, I'm only going to be away for a week. What's the worst that can happen in that time? But what about our meals? Who's gonna cook for us while you're away at your parents' house? And how are we supposed to find things to talk about at the dinner table without you there? Maybe you two can start off by not having dinner together? I mean, I think that it's only natural for a high school girl to want some independence. I see. And I guess you won't be here to cook for us. We could just try going out to eat more while you're gone. 
do what you think is best, but just don't let her stay out too late. She still has school to worry about, not to mention that it's dangerous. I know, but she just doesn't listen to me at all, no matter what I tell her. Well, then I'll speak to her about this as well, and I'll try and convince her to have dinner with you while I'm away, okay? Okay. I'm really still not sure about this, but I guess I'll do my best. I know you can do it. The most important thing is that you make sure Tina gets back home by her curfew, okay? And on the days that you have to stay late to work, and just make sure that she's already gotten home. And if you got home before she does, don't go to sleep until she's back. Okay. Right. I think I can handle all of that. Hopefully. Well, I just know that you like to drink when I've gone away before, so just don't go overboard and remember that you're still taking care of your daughter. Tina! What is the meaning of this? I want an answer now, young lady. Why in the world is our house such a huge mess, huh? Oh, Mom, did you get back from Grandma and Grandpa's house? I didn't realize you were getting back today. I want to know what happened to our house. Why is it like this? I mean, the inside is just a total wreck. What happened? Are you and your dad okay? Yeah, we're totally fine. It's no big deal. So then, you're really okay? You didn't get hurt or anything like that? What happened to the house? Did someone break in? We need to get to the bottom of the house. I'm calling the police. Oh, there's no need for that, Mom. I was the one who made the house the way it is. What do you mean? You caused all of this mess? Yeah, it, it was me. There wasn't a robber or anything like that. I was the one who did that to the inside of our house. I'm really sorry that you were so shocked by it, though. I made sure not to break anything important, though, so if you're worried about that, then don't be. But I, I still don't understand. Why would you do this to our house? Did you and your dad get into some kind of fight or something like that? Is that why you did this? No, no, it wasn't anything like that at all. Actually, this was all part of my plan to drive dad out of the house before you came back home. I still don't get it. Why would you do that? Why did you need to get rid of your dad? Because he was cheating on you, Mom. I saw it with my own eyes, I swear. What? Your father was cheating on me? It's true. I know it might be hard to believe, but it really did happen. But I'm so confused. What did you see that made you think that he was cheating on me? Well, for one, I saw Dad walking around with a woman, and I had no idea who she was. But he had his arm around her. I even got close enough that they didn't notice me, but I could hear them. And the lady was asking Dad how much longer he was going to make her wait until he divorced you. And you're sure that this man that you were following was actually your dad and not someone else? I mean, you didn't happen upon the wrong people by mistake. No way, Mom. I know it was Dad. I'm absolutely sure of it. I mean, his voice, his face, they were all Dad's. I don't know what to say. Y your dad was cheating on me? But I really don't think that you should be that surprised, Mom. I mean, we both know that if there's one thing Dad is good at, it's breaking promises. I really don't think that he ever cared about you or I. And he never spends any time at home anyways. I guess you are right about that, yes. Anyways, I know this is all hard to take in, and I don't have any stronger proof that my words and what I saw... I was so surprised and my heart was beating so fast that I didn't even think to take a picture of what I saw, but that's why I had to make the house the way that it was. But that's what I still don't understand. What does what you saw and what you did to the house have to do with each other? Well, I just thought that if Dad came home and saw that the house had been turned upside down, then he would ask me if I knew what had happened. And then I was going to tell him that some crazy lady stormed into the house and started demolishing everything, demanding that I get away from her man. So you're telling me that you did all of this to try and pin this on the woman that your dad was with? That's right. That's exactly what I was trying to do. I thought that if he knew that this other woman acted this way, then he would be forced to act. And I thought that earlier he would break up with her or realize that he'd been caught in his affair and choose to leave us alone forever. It was all so that I could try to back Dad into a corner where he had to admit that he was cheating. 
I see. And just how exactly did you see all of that happening? Well, I thought that Dad would have seen the house, called the police, and then I could have told them about the lady. I see. And what was supposed to happen then? Well, then Dad was going to be under so much pressure that he would have to admit to the affair, or just make up excuses that would have blown up in his face. Tina, I don't even know what to say. Uh, this is really some plan of yours. Well, thank you very much. I put a lot of thought into it, actually. You know, it's actually even a bit scary that you've gone and done all of this. I know, but I also knew that it was Dad who I was going up against. And I think we both know that he would never admit to being wrong unless he was really backed into a corner. Plus, if he did admit what he did, it would make it so much easier for you to sue him for his affair. You think that I'm going to sue your father? Uh, Tina, do you think that he and I should get a divorce? Of course the two of you need to get a divorce. I mean, Dad is always using being busy with work to get out of spending time with us. And when he's away from home, he's just cheating on you and ignoring me. And you're telling me that you really want to be married to a guy like that? Well, of course not, but I mean... There's nothing else to say then, is there? You and Dad just aren't meant to be. Okay, uh, I think you're right. I'll go along with your plan then, and we'll see if we can't get him to admit what he's done. Great! Come and meet me at the restaurant where I'm at, and we'll wait together for Dad to get home. Hey, Tina. What the heck happened to our house? Dad! You're finally home! I was wondering when you were getting back, I was so scared! But what happened? Why is our whole place such a mess? And where are you right now? I have no idea what happened. Some crazy lady showed up to the house and started knocking things over. Then she started shouting at me and I got so scared that I ran out of the house. You're telling me that it was some strange lady who did all of this? Was she trying to rob the house or something like that? No, nothing like that. She wasn't a thief, but she was screaming about all kinds of crazy things. What do you mean? What was she saying to you? She was asking me who I was and telling me that I needed to stay away from her man. And she kept saying your name over and over again, and then I got so scared that I ran out of the house. I see. Well, do you remember at all what this lady looked like? Did you get a good look at her? I guess she was in her late 20s, or maybe early 30s, and she was blonde with really long hair. And I remember seeing that she had her ears pierced while she was knocking stuff over. I think they were heart-shaped earrings or something like that. Do you have any idea who this could be? Uh, no. I definitely have no idea who that lady could have been. Are you sure? I mean, she was saying your name over and over again. I don't know who she is. Well, then I guess we'll have to call the cops about this. They'll get to the bottom of it all. Wait, I don't think that we really need to go that far as to call the cops. But why not? This lady broke into our house and did this. We have to catch her. No. I mean, yes. I finally remembered who that lady is. Really? Because she kept calling you her man and telling me to stay away from her. Well, okay. To tell you the truth, I was seeing this woman. But you can't tell your mom, okay? But why shouldn't mom know about this? Because it would destroy your mom to know that I was doing this. You wouldn't want to hurt your mom, would you? Please, I'll buy you whatever you want. If you don't tell your mom. Just come back home and help me clean up before your mom gets back. I'm sorry to say, Tim, but I already saw the house, and you aren't going to get away with this. Wait... Is this... Rachel? When did you get back home? Just a bit earlier than you, actually. Now what is this about you having an affair? Hold on a second. Does that mean you're with Tina right now? That's right. I'm sorry we had to mislead you like that, but it was all your daughter's idea. So was there even a lady who broke into our house? That was also a lie that Tina came up with to get you to confess. 
Although she did see you and this other woman going out together. She saw us. Are you serious? She saw you with your arm around another woman and knew that she had to think of a way to make you confess. And you did just that, didn't you? Wait, no. Please. You don't understand. This is all a mistake. The only mistake here is that I stayed with you for this long. How long have you been lying to me, huh? Tina already told me that you two were talking about when you were going to leave me. No, it isn't like that at all. I swear. Please, you have to believe me. No, I really don't, Tim. But you do need to tell the truth if you don't want to get into any more trouble. But you do know that I really love you, don't you? The whole affair was just a little fling. Nothing more. I don't care what you have to say for yourself now. Your daughter's plan to catch you red-handed worked. You tricked us for this long, but now I'll be able to sue you for your affair. Hang on. Are you really gonna sue me for this? That's right. Also, Tina and I are leaving the house, and we're getting divorced, Tim. Wait. No, you can't do this to me. Can't we at least meet up and talk in person? No! I don't want to see your face ever again. After that, I served Tim with divorce papers, which he finally realized he had no choice but to sign. I also pressed charges against him and this other woman for their affair, and Tina and I used the money to move far, far away. I have no idea what Tim is doing or if he's even still with the other woman he was with. But frankly, I don't care. I'm just glad that I have a daughter clever and driven enough not to let her father take advantage of us like he did. Do you have a moment, James? Huh? What is it, Emma? You're cheating on me with Amy, aren't you? Uh, well, you see... It's no use trying to hide it. I've already gathered the evidence. Actually, I even received a report from Amy herself saying, Sorry, sis. I accidentally stole your boyfriend. I think it's time we break up. Yeah, I think that's for the best. Emma's way hotter than you in the first place. <laughs> Are you guys even related? You look nothing like her! <laughs> That's because Amy isn't actually my sister. Seriously? That explains a lot, I guess. <laughs> yep, that's why I'm leaving this town. What, seriously? Why? I have no obligation to tell you why. You're not even my boyfriend anymore. Yeah, but... Just asking out of curiosity. Ask Amy if you want to know about it that much. I doubt she'll tell you, though. What? Now I want to know even more! Well, I guess this was good timing. I've no regrets leaving a place full of such awful people like this. I'm leaving right this weekend. Where do you plan on going? That's none of your business. Goodbye, Mr. Cheater. Yo, Emma! It's me, James! How long has it been since we last talked? Five years, right? What the hell? I thought I blocked your account. Is this a new ID? Yep. So, you get it? Get what? The invitation to me and Amy's wedding. You don't even know my current address. Where did you even send it? To the Gmail address you used to use. What? I don't check that account anymore. Seriously? That's where I sent the online invitation. An online invitation? Check it, now! Do I really have to? Logging in takes so much time. Just do it already, will you? I wonder what the password was. Huh? There really was an invitation, I guess. I have notifications turned off, so I didn't really notice. Um, why have you been sending me emails every day for the past week? It's because you don't reply to my emails. That's why I made a new Instagram account in the first place. What? Just how desperate are you? So, I'm taking it that you accept the invitation? What? What made you think that I would go? <laughs> why? It's your sister's wedding. Not being able to be happy for your own family is kind of... 
you know. Kind of what? Ah, so I see how it is. You're jealous of how hot your sister is. How she stole me from you, right? <laughs> I honestly don't care about Emma anymore. We haven't met even once in the five years since I left. And she's not even my real sister in the first place. That reminds me. Where did you even go? I asked Amy and your foster parents. But all they say is that they have no idea and haven't heard anything. Yeah, that's because I didn't tell them. So you really didn't tell them, huh? You guys should make up at the wedding. Make up? Basically, you ran away from home, right? For five years? At first, you intended to come home after the dust had settled. But as time passed, it became harder and harder to do so. Fast forward, and here we are right now, right? <laughs> what a child. Hmm, <laughs> I never planned on eventually coming home when I left. What? I guess that might have to turn at some point on some sort of business, but I have zero intention on moving there again, or of meeting Emma or her parents. Chill, no need to get angry. Isn't Amy your only sister? I know you'll be able to celebrate her wedding. I understand why you might not want to. Who cares if the groom is your ex-boyfriend? <laughs> Judging by your tone, I assume you haven't heard anything yet. Heard what? Nothing you need to know about. Anyways, I declined the online invitation. What? Hold on a minute! Also, I've told you so many times before Emma isn't actually my real sister. She's no more than a stranger to me. Why'd you decline? I told you she's not my sister. But I put so much effort trying to get you to make up with your sister. I know you two don't get along. Did you seriously not hear a word of what I said? What was that? Anyways, just come on the day of the wedding, okay? No, I will not. Goodbye. Emma? Why aren't you here? Where are you? What? The wedding's already started! Oh, the wedding's today? You'll make it to the reception, right? That reminds me. I heard some train was being delayed. Is that why you're late? Just get a taxi and come here quick. Or is it that you're stuck on the train? I'm watching TV at home. Huh? You're what? I thought I already told you I wouldn't come. But I told you to come, didn't I? Stop giving me orders, will you? I don't need to listen to a word you say. You're ruining the surprise I have planned! Just hurry up and come, in one hour! Uh, I'm afraid that's impossible. Why? The wedding's in Florida, right? There's no way for me to get there in less than one hour using any transportation method. What? There's also another problem I need to take care of. What problem? I got this ridiculous email from Amy, you see. What? Amy? Yep, I'll be going now. Bye. Wait, hold on! The wedding ceremony was cancelled. And on top of that, I now have 20k in debt. That's such a shame. You've got 20k of debt too? What? The wedding preparation costs 40k, so you and Amy were planning on using 20k each, right? Didn't you two laugh it off saying, that much is nothing? I'm impressed considering how careless the two of you are with money. While looking for a way to get the money, you heard from somewhere that I'm now the CEO of a company. And here we are now, right? Um, yeah. That sounds about right. A friend of mine you met before didn't know that we had broken up. He said something like, Your girlfriend is incredible. That's how I found out. I see, so that's how you got the information. And, what do you want from me? Uh, you see... I was planning with the wedding to get you to make up with the family you left years ago. So I was wondering if you could lend me the 20k. As thanks, you know? Are you an idiot? Never mind, that question is years too late. What? 
Didn't I already tell you that those people are complete strangers to me? How many times have I told you that Emma's not actually my sister? What? Seriously? I lost both of my parents when I was five years old and was adopted by that family. But then Amy was born right after. I guess they preferred their actual child. I was treated worse than an animal growing up. Of course they had to do the bare minimum in order to save face, but that was only until high school. After that, I was told to return what I had been given and was forced to get a job at a local company and give them half of my income. That's how I met you in the first place. You were an employee at some client company we were working with, right? But in the end, Amy stole you from me. That's when my adopted parents said that Amy is so unfortunate her boyfriend's ex is her own sister. So they told me to get out of town. And so I quit my job at that company, which I had been working at since I graduated high school and left. What? This is completely new to me. I don't know how much Amy and her parents told you, but I did tell you over and over that Amy wasn't actually my sister, right? Did you seriously ignore every word I said? Wait, really? Go through the chat history when you have time. Yeah, but it's true that you're the CEO of a company right now, right? I mean, I was interviewed by a local magazine and all, so it's not really a secret. So there's not really any point to hide it from you. Basically, as soon as I left town, I was able to reunite with my uncle, who had been looking for me. Apparently, my skill set was in high demand at the company he owned. This and that happened, and before I knew it, I was hired as the new CEO of the company just six months ago. So that means you have the money, right? Just lend me the 20k, will you? Come on, we used to go out, right? Right? Why is that you and Amy are so? What? Amy? Both of you are lining up begging for 20k knowing that I'm now a CEO? Huh? Amy doesn't have the money? Yep, she also started begging for money almost exactly at the same time as you. Seriously? Amy is just as careless with money as you, but for some reason decided to show off and spend 20k on the wedding while she was thinking about how she would get that money. She found an interview of me online, which was how she found out that I'm CEO now. She said something like, you're the CEO of a company now, right? If you give me 20k as a wedding gift, we'll welcome you, a person with no real relatives, into the family again. She said this after I told you that I took on the company of my actual uncle. Would you believe it? You two are so alike. That can't be right. Amy was always buying brand items. You're telling me she didn't actually have the money? In the end, she even said that if you give me the 20k, I'll let you have James every once in a while. <laughs> what? It was so idiotic that I wasn't even mad, just amused. I've been able to reunite with my actual uncle. I'm getting along with his daughter, meaning my cousin. She's more of a sister to me than Amy ever was. Also, I'm married now and have children. So the stuff about me not having any actual relatives just isn't true anymore. Which is what I told Amy. What? You're married? Yep. Jesus! Thanks for the pity, but I'm afraid I'm quite content with the life I have now. I'm not giving you two a single penny. What? So that's my answer. But I need the money! Goodbye. Wait, what about the 20k? That's what you two get for showing off and spending 40k on a wedding, is what I thought. But it's not really any of my business, so whatever, I guess. With Amy, however, I pretended to not know anything and said I got a wedding invitation from James, so I declined. What was that? I don't know if it was my fault, but apparently, the two got into a huge fight and got divorced. The 20k of debt they both have is still there, though. Amy managed to pay it off by selling her house. But apparently, this caused the whole family to fall apart. As to James, apparently the debt was a bit of a problem for him due to social reasons. No one has been able to get in contact with him ever since he was taken away while crying by his intimidating old brother.